Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gia Marcos here for an Achievement Diary update. Uh, two weeks ago we made the announcement, um, just to refresh your memory, we're going to play Europa Universalis a lot for a year or as much as I can do. I'm going to try to uh, get as many achievements as possible. And in the last uh, couple of weeks, last two weeks, I, I did a few. I didn't do too many unfortunately, but uh, I got some, uh, some achievements done. A lot of easy achievements, which I, th which you can just get out of the way quickly, and some not really hard achievements, but uh, some achievements that took a, a little bit more time. I will quickly go over them and um, yeah, explain which achievement I got and how I got it and with what country. All right, the first achievement I got was um, forgive me for my French, but Azur Semi de Lizor. I think that's. Uh, about the correct pronunciation, I'm not sure. Uh, which means that you need to get all the French calls as France, and it can easily be done by revoking the calls that England is occupying. So it's a really cheesy way to do it, but it's just to get that achievement out of the way, and it's out of the way now. The second achievement is also with, with France, and that's factionalism, which is. Um, Basically, you need to have your three uh, estates at 70% influence, which can easily be done by granting them a lot of land as France and then interacting with the uh, with the buttons a bit. So it's an easy achievement as well, very easy to do. The next one is Marshy March, which can be done by creating a march as um, or a vassal, release Northumberland as a vassal when you're England and granting, I don't recall the exact province name, but you c there is another marsh province you can grant uh, to your uh, tree of vassal and then you just turn your vassal into a march and then you have marshy march. And while we're at it, uh, still in England, I also did subsidize my love, which is easy. You just get three alliances and you uh, give them money, uh, subsidize them for half of the income. Which I did with the uh, Irish miners. Also, again, a really, really simple achievement. Uh, I didn't do any campaign for that. I just launched the game and basically did it and quit the game again and started uh, another achievement. Because I, I kind of want to want to get them out of the way, but I don't want them to interfere with a bigger campaign. I mean, I don't. I sort of want to play England optimally one day for a for a big campaign, and I don't want to. Uh, get in the hassle of, of releasing a vassal which I have to uh, integrate or annex later again. I really don't, don't want to do that. I just want to uh, to get those out of the way. So uh, the next one I got was not so sad a state. I started a Portugal campaign which went horribly but at least we had a colony in Africa and in Brazil so we get at least we got at least one achievement. We got one achievement only this one. Um, I got a big Castile uh, campaign uh, well planned, but uh, more on that later. Um, yeah, let's quickly go to the next one, which is Cities of Cibola, 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 I think. Um, which is also a, a fairly easy achievement to, uh, to achieve. It takes a little bit more time. You have to actually play the game to get this achievement. Um, you can play as Pueblo, which is a Native American in North America. And you have to have seven provinces with at least ten development. And looking for a Pueblo, you start up with three provinces, I believe, and you can conquer another four provinces from your uh, neighbors right from the start. So uh, basically, just require to get uh, an OCB war and conquer those uh, those provinces. And then it's just uh, a matter of time and wait until you have enough. Monarch points to develop the provinces all to ten development, which is also a very a very easy achievement, of course. Uh, we will go into the more difficult achievements, of course, but we will do that later in the year, I think. Um, I also did this one, really easy one. Nobody nobody wants to die. You stand at Songhai, and you have to conquer the province of Timbuktu, and you have to core it, which can also be done in a, in a, about two years in game or something. Also really easy. Um, then I got Cold War, which I got in my Ireland campaign, in my Thormund into the Irish Luck campaign, which I sort of abandoned, and I will, I will tell you why later in this video. But I, uh, I had the chance to, uh, to start a war without 
uh, fighting a battle, my enemy didn't have an army. So uh, I got the achievement, just a l little bonus. I didn't do anything specifically for it, I wasn't hunting for it or something. It just happened to be the case and that's why I got the achievement. And then I started a campaign as Hosokawa to get the Crescentium throne and to, to make Jap Japan Christian. And uh, before that, I had a big, big spy network in Japan to get claims on all the vassals. But I ran out of claims to, to get. I couldn't claim any more land. So uh, I stole a map and I didn't know it was an achievement. But I got the achievement Time Bandit for it. So with Hosokawa, I got Time Bandit. And in the same campaign, uh, I already uh, conquered Japan. So I returned into Japan. I uh, threatened... Yaren with war over a province and they granted the province uh, to me which is really nice if you're really big you can just say hey you need to give that province to me otherwise uh, we're gonna have some uh, some war which uh, was nice also happened to just be the case I didn't really know that it was an achievement for it but and now that I got it it's uh, it's nice and of course I get the Crescentium throne um, for a long time I uh, I didn't understand that uh, I, I missed the province, I couldn't find it, but it turns out it was Jeju, or Yeju, I believe it was called. It was the province, uh, little province, little island south of uh, Korea, so I had to go to war with Korea to, uh, to get him. Uh, the campaign is still going on, I'm not doing very much, I'm not doing very good in the campaign. I, I'm just so tunnel visioning on this, uh, this uh, thing to convert Japan to Christianity so that I'm not doing anything. I am using my colonists a bit, I got exploration, but I'm not doing that much with them. It's not a proper campaign to say it. It's it's a it's just a campaign to get the achievement. But I I also want to get a, a proper campaign in. So and I also get in the end I got respected as well with Japan because uh, getting prestige was really easy uh, when finding natives in in America and finding Korea and stuff like that and now it's really easy to get uh, prestige. You just uh, the end, the end rival option in the peace options. It's really good to uh, to get a, a lot of prestige. So I was at 100 prestige, 100 legitimacy, and I was at two stability. I thought so. I thought well, let's get the achievement anyway. Let's get it out of the way so we don't have to bother with it later. So these are the 12 achievements I get in two weeks. Uh, I have to admit it isn't really it's. It isn't very much, but at least it's uh, something. I didn't really do a big proper campaign, which I'm going to start probably today already with Castile. I really want to do Castile because I've never really played with a big power in Europe. Uh, I want to do the colonization. Uh, Castile has a lot of achievements which can be done with colonization. And uh, yeah, I, I sort of liked it, the colonization idea. I thought about doing it with Portugal. I already started the game with Portugal, but I a bit of a bit more than I could chew with Morocco and Tunis, so it went south a little, or it went very south, uh, it went very bad. So uh, I have to restart it, and I think I'm going to do Castile this time, and uh, hopefully we can do some conquering in Europe, get some colonization going. I'm not sure if I will make it into a series. I really want to get a nice achievement series to get a, a new series to do uh, an achievement run with, but. Uh, yeah, I feel that I'm not really good enough in European European Universalis 4 to to make a series for YouTube just yet. But I, I want to know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, but it's it's different when you're recording as well. That's why I abandoned the Luck of the Irish campaign. It just went really bad, and I, I will show you. Uh, I will show you in a minute. So we are in game now, and I quickly wanna wanna show you my uh, Luck of the Irish campaign, which uh, ended up really bad. Uh, let's wait the game uh, for it. Let's wait for the game to load. Um, and I will quickly uh, say why I abandoned it. Well, I went to war with Scotland. I in beat the English or the Scottish army in the uh, in the first battle. And I should have gone after the army, but I didn't. Um, I lost a bunch of land. But my exit position is isn't just isn't good anymore. England is. Is massive. England is a really is one of the biggest great powers, the fourth great power in the world. Um, I, have a, I have a small colony here. I could just try to get North America and come back later, but 
I don't think it's viable anymore at this point. So I decided to uh, to stop this campaign and uh, to get better at EU4 before I would record anything else. I am continuing, of course, with the achievement run, but because the achievements that I got, you don't actually see the gameplay of it. But I also want to start a nice campaign, which I will record for an achievement run. I have to figure out which campaign I want to play. I don't know if I want to play a shorter campaign or a really long campaign. I'm, I've not decided yet. So if you have a suggestion, please let me know. But um, yeah, so that's why I I, I quit the, the the Ireland campaign because I think I'm not that great at the game just yet. So I wanted to come better first, and in a few weeks' time, maybe even next week or something, maybe start start a new campaign, uh, try again. Uh, yeah, and play better hopefully. So um, yeah, of course we uh, we're gonna continue with this with this uh, little challenge. I mean, we have uh, done two weeks of the 52, so we got 50 weeks to go. We got 12 achievements done, which isn't very much, but uh, we got a we got a bunch of uh, very easy achievements. I want to dive into the achievements a little bit more and get a little bit more difficult achievements uh, done. And I will do that in the coming weeks. I will start a Castile uh, campaign. I'm not sure if I will record it. I don't think I will record the, ca the campaign. I think I will run a second campaign alongside the Castile campaign with another achievement run. But uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will let you know uh, when I start it. I will post uh, something on Twitter and uh, stuff like that. So alright, that's it for this uh Achievement Diary, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we can show some more gameplay in uh, in future diaries because we uh, we didn't have any any gameplay to show. I could show a timeline of the Japan achievement, but it's re isn't really uh, that impressive. So uh, decided not to. Maybe uh, if I do uh, a world conquest or something with uh, maybe the Ottomans, I might do uh, a nice little time lapse uh, in between the uh, somewhere in the video, but. Uh, for now, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, enjoy uh, this little uh, yeah challenge. And uh, yeah, I will continue with this uh, challenge. And I hope to uh, to make some more videos about it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.